Daddy, do you want to show your haircut on the camera? You already cut your hair. Do you want to show it or no? I don't want to talk right now. It's okay, honey. What's up, it's your girl, your cousin, Anisha, your auntie, your sissy, your sister, and your mama. And her mama. It's January 29th. Daddy, I'm vlogging. <clears throat> that's somebody at y'all. That's T going next door. So anyway. After work, kind of after work. Long story short, y'all. I gotta give y'all an update when I get in the car. In my mother's car, I'm taking that home. Mine is down for the count. But ain't one thing is another. But I'll give y'all an update when I get in. Say hey, Papa. Say hey, Papa. Yeah. You want to come show them your haircut? Because you finally um, cut your hair. You want to show them? Never mind. It's like. I said, did you want to show your haircut? No, I don't need haircut. Never mind. Right. So CJ done cut his hair finally. Daddy, do you want to show your haircut on the camera? You already cut your hair. Do you want to show it or no? I don't want to talk right now. It's okay, honey. We're not understanding each other. You cut your hair, right? Did you want to show it? No, you don't have any hair. Never mind. Sell me a. Okay. No, that. Do you want me to take a picture of it? Is that better? You, you understand that you want a picture of your new haircut? You want take a picture of it? You want to see my. Yeah. And mine looks so bad. Good bad, huh? It looks fine. Yeah, oh. What's that effect? He about to answer a spam call. Hello. Watch this. Oh. Answer a spam call all the time and be ready to cuss him out. Say hey, Mary Kay. Okay, yeah. No, she just slapped another one on. Okay. Go on. Alright, now we got a storm coming, so I'm about to go home. But I'm going to get with y'all when I get in the car. So I'm t I just woke up. I took a quick, quick nap. I'm going to talk to y'all when I get in. Alright, guys, so hopefully you can see me pretty good. It's a little bit dark out here. Um, but I'm heading home. Um, taking Mary Kay's truck home. Um, so my truck is done. Like, it needs brakes and very badly. So it needs the front and rear. We thought it was just the front brakes. But um, Teddy Grahams is like, yo, like. Who was you with prior to me that nobody's like really checking on your car? Because I'm a female and I'm not saying all females are the same, but I'm like, I get in and I drive it. And I know most of that has to do with me. Well, all of it. The reason why my it's pretty much metal on metal is because I don't <laughs> take care of it. And I've never had a car longer than three years. I always um, would lease and I would just trade them in. So y'all know that this was, of course, me financing at this point my truck and... Um, that was just a, a means to an end because either that or what get into a whole nother lease with something that was less um, Just just garbage. Come on. Are y'all gonna drive or no? <sighs> Alright, Lisa relax for late release. So anyway Hold on y'all cuz I can't do this That's what the whole back of your car gone and you in the fast lane Anyway, um, <sighs> so I had to call out of work yesterday, um, 
Teddy Graham, you know, was there um, yesterday, and we took it to get a free inspection at Pet Boys because we called around. Well, he called around for some quotes. I didn't really like any of the quotes. Pet Boys was like, bring it in, let us do a free inspection because it's going to be hard to quote it. And I get it. So, we um, take it in. They look at it. And their quote was almost like a thousand dollars. I'm no sir, no ma'am. Um, I just I'm not going to go with the first one. We had different quotes, but prior to that, but that's because we only thought we needed one, which was the front. And guys like, well, your rear is probably going to do the same in about two months. So I, you know, I'm looking at Teddy Grahams. I'm like, why can't we just get the front then and worry about the rear later? And you know, he's like, let's just get it all done at the same time. So. Um, he spent a lot of today when he could look it up at other places and had a few other people looking for me so we found a place. And hopefully everything's going to work out and it's, they're charging half the price. You know, I always get a little leery sometimes and when I do think about half the price is going to be half the job. Because again, we're dealing with that right now in my mind. And Teddy Grounds is so good with that because he is very, um, he's very calm, very laid back, but you don't play with him. You know what I'm saying? He is definitely a man's man and... He is protective over, you know, the people that he cares about. And, um, you know, he's like, y'all need me? Like, what's going on? Y'all don't have anybody? You know, because my dad would usually be the one that kind of handle stuff like that and talk to the man and blah, 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 blah. But Teddy Graham's like, let me, let me handle this. So I'm getting ready to let him just loose, let him loose and do his thing. I'm going to give him all the information from, from Boo Boo the Clown because this has been around Christmas time that this happened. You know what I'm saying? My mom and them um, walls are still bare. It's like just, um, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a puzzle. Puzzle pieces stuck up against the wall. No paint, no nothing. The floors, um, the grout is all like bubbled up. Like who did this? Caleb? Like did Moochie do the job? He probably would do a better job. Uh, the shower that they got didn't fit so it's short and then it's like you have this big gap between the wall and the shower. What are you going to do there? The light fixture isn't in yet. We have it, but it's not in, so it's just dangling from the ceiling. It's like so much shit that just pisses you off. And I'm like, when I see dude, I'm gonna stump a hole in him. And I'm gonna say to him, like, you don't, do you know where I work at? Maybe you don't know. Because I can guarantee you that I already done looked your business up and I don't see it nowhere. So you're not a registered or a licensed contractor in the state of New Jersey. I can shut your shit all the way down because at this point I'm getting pissed off. So you don't have to worry about taking advantage of nobody else. You just MIA, know you got a job done to do somewhere, and you just nothing. Nobody should ever have to call you to check on you when you're the one that has been contracted to do a job. So, I'm, I'm just, you know, I gotta just relax with it, release. Mary Kay has enough stuff on her brain right now. I don't want her overwhelmed, and, you know, then that gets me upset. So, I'm gonna let Teddy Grahams take care of it. Yeah, we supposed to be getting this snow starting about 7 o'clock. It's been snowing a little bit off and on all day. They let us go home from work about uh, 3 o'clock. But I got in late because I had to get picked up. Had to get brought in. And when I got there, I didn't really even... It wasn't on the phone much. It was like right around my lunchtime, they called me to the IT room where they were handing out laptops finally. Now, we get ready to go back, back to full staff on Monday, the state of New Jersey. Now you want to give me a laptop? Oh, just in case we go back to um, hybrid or just in case something else happens with COVID. Okay, fine. So the thing with them was I would get mine set up, go through it, test it out, make sure I could hear while I was there. And then I would go home, hop on, and take up my calls for the rest of the day. Um, so I left. I left about 2 o'clock, headed to go take my calls. But when I got to my destination, it was a little bit after 3. And I couldn't sign on for anything, so I, I texted one of the IT guys, and he's like, oh, enjoy your weekend. He said they shut down the phone lines, the state is closed. They sent out another message saying that even if you were even working from home, that you don't have to continue. And they shut down the lines. So I said, thank you, God. So I'm going to take this little ass laptop to the house and leave it there. And um, good to go. Like, I'm, I'm happy that I can be set up to work remotely if possible. Um, I went to my parents' house, like I said, and I was just going to hop on. It was a little bit awkward because I was upstairs in the bedroom. I wouldn't have really had nowhere to set up, but anything's better than going in the office. Save me some coins from this gas and some mileage from traveling. 
every day for nothing. So basically, all we do is correspond, you know. Anyway, so why am I here? But y'all, I digress. I told y'all before when I got a new job after my depression that I wasn't gonna complain. I lied. I'm sorry. Damn, you speeding. The hell is the cops when you need them? Damn. Alright, y'all, I gotta go because these people, half of them speeding, half putt putting. And I'm like right in between. I ain't got time for it. You ain't gonna get your putt putting ass in the fast lane and you ain't going no faster. I thought everybody went home early. It's quite a bit of traffic out here. But I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, thank you to you guys who have already purchased my little journal. Y'all, that is just the beginning. I got a few things in up my sleeve. Um, I'm working on some more merchandise, some more sponsorship deals. Like, a lot of stuff is going on. Um, Teddy Graham's page is flourishing on TikTok. We are building an empire. Like, dude is so talented. It's crazy. And I believe God puts people in your, re in your life for certain reasons. And it's like, we match. You know, his drive matches mine he's very focused very precise um he came in already knowing what he wanted to do and you know i was the voice to be like let me push him let me encourage you to let's do this let's start this bro we could be making some passive income let's go so so far so good um but alright y'all, I'll hide y'all later because this is probably going to look crazy because I know y'all can't see much and I'm flying on this highway with one hand on the steering wheel and one hand on y'all. Damn, get out of my face. It's Saturday, snowed in. Oh, make some breakfast. Thank you, honey. Well, it's 3 o'clock, but... DJ Shinsky. Let's see what it look like. Somebody else, huh?